Hi all, Hal here with Ark Survival Evolved. And um, as you can see, we are in the taming pit because I've already found one of the new uh, Procoptodons, the uh, the marsupial <laughs> uh, kangaroo looking thing. So I figured I'd show you what was going on with this. So this, this little critter here uh, was a natural level 44 when I caught him. Right now he's up to plus 21 on his taming. So we're looking at about a 65 tame out uh something to know about these guys <laughs> they're first off their um their torpor drops fairly quickly a little bit faster than what you their hunger drops at so you're going to end up using a little bit of narcotic on it right now <clears throat> our server mod mod is i think of like a times five effectiveness so for what we've done is that this has actually taken 10 narcotic to keep him where he's at right now and as you can see, it's still dropping fairly quickly. Um, but they only eat the rare mushrooms. So if you're not out farming the rare mushrooms, you're not going to be able to, to tame these guys out yet. Um, for the, the folks who don't know how to get the rare mushroom, you actually get it when you're harvesting the crystal nodes. So anywhere where there is a the metal resources or if you can find cr harvestable crystal, keep those mushrooms because you're going to need a lot of them uh so far we have used nine on this one and he's only level 44. so at a higher level if you were to go with a a normal server set of a uh, difficulty multiplier of 1.0 where your maximum dinosaur level is 120 naturally you're probably looking at spending anywhere from 40 to 50 rare mushrooms on taming a high level one of these things um, definitely something to keep in mind when you're out and about if you're if you're not saving the rare mushrooms if you want one of these guys yeah better start saving them because like I said we're at nine mushrooms in right now and we're just over the halfway point we're what 55% or so and that's with a times five multiplier on the on taming speed so yeah <laughs> it's gonna be an expensive team now, the benefit of this for the folks who aren't aware is that first you can throw a saddle on these things and use them as a normal mount. That's great, that's fun, that's good. They also have a pouch, both the males and females in this on this dino, that allow you to carry a second player. Uh, the second player has no control. Basically, they can look around as normal, but they do not control the dino in any way, shape, or form. However, they can attack from inside the pouch. You just have a very narrow view, and we'll, we'll show you that once we get this thing tamed out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a shortcut right here um, while we wait for this thing to finish taming out. And I do want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we, are filming, we are recording this, uh, I don't know, about almost 7 p.m. Yeah, about 7 p.m. Western on Pacific Time. Uh, on Friday, so or Thursday, so <laughs> we're here for New Year's Eve, and we actually just ran into one of these things while we were out and about. So, but yeah, Happy New Year's, everybody! Uh, by the time this goes up, it'll be either later tonight or early uh, New Year's Day, and this is a bonus episode on top of the normal arc stuff which came out earlier today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that cut, and we will be right back. Hi all, and we're back, and he's about to tame out. And I was doing a little research while we were uh, waiting for this thing to finish taming, and it looks like you need to be at least level 50 to create the saddle. Uh, thankfully, I actually have the engram points for it. It's 30, currently 35 engram points, and you get it at the same time that you can start making the electrical systems, like the electrical wiring and things. Uh, so let's go ahead and unlock this. And all said and done, we ended up using so far so to, yeah it'll take 16 mushrooms total for this one to tame out and it took us 15 narcotic to keep it on to, to keep it subdued while we we're waiting and i think i'm actually going to go ahead and drop a few more on it just to be safe because the torpor was getting really low and there we go all right so as you can see we got sharky over here uh <laughs> trying to follow a he was closer than I was when it tamed out, so... Okay, let's see if we can get this thing outside. Come on. There we go. Look at this. That is a big kangaroo. Come on, buddy. 
Outside. Are you stuck? Oh, there you go. Oh, he's adorable. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go make a saddle for this guy. I'm not even sure what his saddle is going to require. Let's see here. Can we make it? I don't know. I might need... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a smithy item. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go grab what we need to... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to go grab what we need to make a saddle for this guy, and we'll be right back, everybody. And we're back. So we're going to look at the requirements for this thing. Obviously, we don't have what we need. Wow, that's an expensive saddle. Okay, so we're looking at 500 hide, 150 pelt, 200 fiber, and seven metal in or 70 metal ingots. That is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to have to go do a little bit of farming to get the pelts for this thing. Um, let me make sure I don't actually have, how many, do I have any in here? No, I don't have any pelts in here. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go do some farming to get the pelts. I've got everything else. That's not a problem, but the pelts are gonna be the, uh, the problem child. So we will go ahead, grab that, and we'll be right back. Oh, and we're back. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit of an adventure. <laughs> a bunch of the folks on the server actually threw in to, to help me, uh, get what I needed over here. Let me make sure we have everything we need. Right, so, I have to repair those uh, those boots too. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and craft this. That is an expensive saddle. So the 150 pelts, it looks like they've increased the uh, the drop rate on the pelts a little bit. So, uh, for the folks who don't know, when you're out hunting the pelts, um, the creatures that drop them are going to be the, uh, the mammoth, obviously, the dire wolves, uh, the megaloceros, so the, the reindeer, basically. Um, and I think there's something else that drops them. I, the new, the new dinos also should be dropping them, I believe. Um, but if you are harvesting and you're trying to specifically get the pelts, don't let your dinos harvest the corpse. You actually want to manually harvest using the uh, metal hatchet. That'll give you the highest return on average for the uh, the pelts per per creature. High level mammoths have been known to give, I think the best I pulled was like 40 or 50 pelts off of one mammoth. So um, it's definitely worth taking the time to get off the dino every once in a while and to manually harvest. Okay, so that's done. Let me. I'm going to go repair these really quick because it's only going to take a second. Um, as you can see, I took a bit of a beating because I was manually harvesting. And that is that is one of the drawbacks to uh, <laughs> manually harvesting. You do get into a bit more uh, of, let's say, interesting situations. Um, I was actually kept ending up in the river fighting piranha. So, hey, Perry, you're staying here. <laughs> We're going to take this one back <laughs> and leave Perry there. Um, all right, so let's go drop Terry Dactyle off. So the funny story about what was going on is that this RG right here um, is at our level cap for the server currently, which is level 78. And I was out taming him when I ran into this guy. So let's go ahead and throw the saddle on him. We're going to take our mushrooms back, and we're going to take the narcotics back. So if you're eating mushrooms, let's see. Uh, so, okay. So looking at his health, his health went up fairly well. So just under 1,000 health. His stamina is at 540. His weight is actually pretty good, and melee damage is pretty good. So it looks like that these are really a, uh, a decent pack animal. Okay, so let's throw the saddle on him. All right. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> we have a tauntaun. It is. It's a tauntaun. <laughs> okay, now the thing everybody wants to see with this thing, and I know it's one of the things I want to see, is can you actually jump the river? So they're supposed to have a really good jump radius or jump distance, I should say. Let's see what, what let's see what we can clear here. 
Okay, you can almost clear the river. So <laughs> I will say yes, that is an impressive jump on these things. So if you time that just right and catch it. Oh, but they have a really slow swim speed. So yeah, but so basically, if you catch the uh, the timing of it just right on a full sprint, you should be able to get a uh, river clearing jump on these things. And there it is. Wow. Okay, that is crazy. I have to say that's what um, level for level against the frog. That's probably about thirty percent increase over his jump distance. But to make up for it, they are very slow in the water. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, that would be the uh, the new dino. Well, I'm sorry, the new marsupial. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Right, so, uh, for the Procopteron, uh, Pro and like I said, we've got decent stats on him already. Let us put it into... Oh, so you can't change his movement speed. His movement speed's not modifiable. We can put it in the melee, we can put it in the weight, which is probably where I'm going to put it eventually. But for now, we're going to boost his health. I want to get him up to about 2 to 3k so that we can use him in fights. Um, but yeah, that is rather awesome. And for the folks who don't know, uh, on New Year's Eve at midnight, Eastern Time, U.S. Eastern Time, if you are logged into the official ARC servers, not any of the uh, the community servers, but the actual development servers, the devs are actually going to be giving away prizes to everybody who is logged in. So I'm going to try and get this video out as fast as possible. If I don't make it in time for everyone to have the heads up, I apologize, but you know, it is what it is, right? So as always, folks, take care and be safe out there. <laughs>